makes use of procedure-specific forms, which allow you to create chart entries without typing or the use of a keyboard. To create chart notes for a patient's care, there are over 40 procedure-specific forms that function much like a restaurant menu. They are subdivided first into categories. We can first select the category and then the specific procedure that we have performed today. For example, let's go into a connective tissue graft. Here you can see the first section of the connective tissue graft procedure form. Just as we would choose appetizers, first courses, main courses, desserts, etc. in a restaurant, here we see the various steps in this particular procedure laid out and displayed on these various tab headings. So for example, we may very well want to identify where we have done this connective tissue graph today. To do that, we merely click on this term and identify the sites where we have provided that care. We may want to show some indications for this procedure as well as document what we feel our goals for this procedure might be. Next, we might go on and start describing the surgical procedure we performed. How did I perform the recipient bed preparation? What did I do to the root surface? Did I detoxify it with anything? How long did I apply that? Where did I harvest my graft from? Was it an average normal thickness graft or was it thinner or thicker than normal? Intraoperative findings would be where I might identify those unusual circumstances that I ran into during the graft, such as dehiscence of the alveolar housing over a particular site. Next, I would want to document my wound closure and how I sutured. I can choose various different types of suture methods, materials, even the sizes of the materials. I might want to identify anything that was necessary to provide hemostasis for this patient or what I used to cover the surgical site. These are multiple choice list boxes. How much local anesthetic did I use? Well, I can put down that I used so many carpules of this particular medication or anesthetic and so much of this one. Again, what type of injections did I give and where? I might have given infiltrations in an area, but again, I may have given various types of block injections for other types of procedures. Finally, I might want to make some notes about the status of this patient when I discharged them and items that I may very well have dispensed to them. And if there is anything unusual that I'd like to say, there are various places in these forms in which you can type in additional comments. Now again, back to the restaurant analogy, I have just made the selection for my meal. I've made the selection for what I would like to be described in my chart notes. Waiter, bring me my meal. I click on chart notes and the rapid writer in time compiles my selections into the document that you see on the screen. I can go through this document. I can take certain items that I do not wish to include and delete them. I can go ahead and type in additional statements if I wish to.